just as a person who's 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 who okay, so we didn't come to my career. Let's move to your your articles uh, after okay. having a, a okay after 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 leaving uh, after getting my degree and leaving Jaisap, I went for a little while to to one firm, uh, and and we didn't we didn't get on, and then I then I my mother learned about Mr. Goodman. Mr. Goodman was a friend of the Adwins, and somehow I managed to get articles there. He, he was looking for an article clerk, and that worked out. I did my articles there. He was very thorough, very professional. He was, he was then 66, so he had a great deal of experience, and, and I learned very well, and eventually I, I uh, obtained my... In fact, I obtained my degree while I was with him, and I qualified as an attorney. Uh, I ran my own. I ran. A, uh, uh, worked for him for a while, and then he retired. He left. He left me his practice. So his whole library, going back to the 1930s, was given mm. to me. Wow. And I uh, started working in town in His Majesty's buildings. Then I went to Lancet Hall, and ultimately in 1990, my parents bought me the, the building that I'm in, Star Court. Star Court. That belonged to somebody called Jerry Mann, uh, and who, who and their, their family sold it, and we converted. What well, it was a block of flats. We converted it to offices, and that. And I've been practicing there ever since. Now, the nature of the practice that I run is a correspondent practice, namely I receive instructions mainly from other attorneys. I process documents, I get their files in order, I give them advice if necessary. If asked to draw up pleadings, I do that. And I deal very little with the public. Why is that, Michael? Because the public come to you with the most mm -hmm. impossible... Some, sometimes they come to you with totally rubbish cases and it's very hard to say no to people and take their money. To say you've got a no, you haven't got a case and then take their money... They come to you with the expectation that you're going to perform miracles for them. Sometimes they come with a reasonable case, sometimes they don't. At least when you're dealing with professionals, when you're acting for professionals, they know if the case is good or not, and you're not expected to, to achieve the result. I'm, I'm expected in that context simply to make sure that the file is in order, to advise them on the law, to perhaps improve upon the way in which they've drafted their papers and ensure that the matter can proceed. Whether it succeeds or doesn't succeed is not my problem. Uh, and I get paid, win, lose or draw. Mm. So this is the least, as far as I'm concerned, this is the least stressful type of legal practice. It's a lot of hard work, but at least you are acting for intelligent people who know what's possible and what's not possible, and generally would have, would have sifted out, sifted the wheat from the chaff before they come to you. 